on one of the hikes that I always like to do. I do this one all the time. I'm so happy out here. I honestly spend most of the time just in airplane mode. By the way, I'm in airplane mode like all the time. Sometimes when I go on these hikes, I listen to motivational videos or I'll listen to positive affirmations. It's really nice to just disconnect and just listen to nature and the wind and you can literally hear and feel the forest talking to you. So I highly recommend you guys get out in nature too. I think I do want to do vlogs because even though I have so many amazing video ideas that have to do with all different kinds of stuff like lifestyle stuff, makeup stuff, hair stuff, nutrition stuff, things you should think about and open your mind and feel free and open up your chakras and exercise and use herbs and spices in your cooking and say what's up to trees and everything. Like I have, I'm also just kind of like busy making sure I'm living my own life how I need to, taking the time to do things that I need to do. like out in nature. I just want to work out a little bit more right now because I have the energy to and I think as I'm getting older I'm figuring out the better ways to gauge myself and be like okay you have energy now now's a good time to work out because I think Sometimes it's easy to be like, oh, I'll eat something and then I'll do it after dinner. But it's like, let's be real. After dinner is going to be too late. And we need to take advantage of the time set we're given. So that's what's going on. And I'm doing like the most interesting exercises. So yeah, that is what is going on today. I'm really excited because my new computer is coming in tomorrow and it's literally going to be life changing and I'm so excited about it. It took me a really long time to save up and be able to make that purchase. I want to be able to show you what I'm actually doing and I'm realizing the more I go deeper into this journey that I really do just need to share who I am as a person with you guys and it's not always the easiest thing to do. It's hard to just let yourself be vulnerable and I honestly feel like I've been vulnerable enough. <sighs> you know just by like putting myself out there like it's really not easy. I think as we move forward everyone's going to realize that it is easier than it used to be but I just think that's just how it is. I think social media is just that's a journey we all need to go on together you know like in the beginning what it was my space a million years ago like where nobody was on that then it was like facebook and it was like the college kids and like older people started getting it whatever then it was like instagram then it was snapchat like then it was you know people being more expressive and being like I'm, I've never, I don't really go on Facebook, but anyway, it's like, then it was people being like more like honest, I guess you would say about it. And that was kind of when people were like, this is what I really do. This is how I really am. And I think that's great, but I think we're like moving even further into that because now it's like people are making more videos. And I think it's like, it used to be kind of weird when you saw people like go live and do stuff like that but it's like really not weird anymore and anyway everyone's just breaking out of their shell and i feel like that's amazing and i'm seeing the truth of how i need to do that as well because i've been trying to be this is what i was thinking about when i was on the hike today <laughs> because i've been trying to be like you know more like guarded and I think that's a great idea and I think that's a really good way to be and part of me is like a little bit like mafiosa like that you know what I mean like kind of you know to protect yourself basically and obviously I'm still gonna do that and I'm always gonna do that but I want to be able to open up more because I'm really feeling like at this point that's the only way I can grow because like I was saying in the last video, like if all I do, or I don't know if I put that in the video or whatever, 
but if I only show you guys like what I'm doing when I do the sit down videos, then it's gonna be like literally not even half of my life, you know? So you guys gotta start like seeing the other half of what I do and it just is what it is, man, you know? So anyway, that was like a long ramble, but it's all good. And now I'm at my house and I'm probably just gonna work out a little bit and then I'm going to make something healthy to eat and have like a relaxing night. I've been trying to get way better at going to bed earlier, earlier and wake up earlier. Like I'm really trying to do that. I really am doing that. And I'm excited to be able to start waking up way earlier, which has always been hard for me because I've always worked at nighttime, like forever. We're talking like, my whole life I've been a night owl. I've been a night pu'eo my whole life. You know, all the way back from when I was like a little kid and I was staying up late watching TV with my mom while she was cleaning the house at 2 a.m. Kind ting, you know what I mean? So anyway, <laughs> that's what's up you guys. But I'm about to do like these wild workouts. I just figured it was interesting. One day I want to make a workout video for you guys to organize myself to be able to do that because it's really honestly what I'd be doing a lot of. Check out this exercise. <laughs> okay. Also, you guys, I just want to show you something really quick that this is the energy pre-workout that I use. Energy and Focus by Garden of Life. I recommend this one because it's vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, and it's organic. Yeah, it's organic and plant-based. Cause I know like sometimes you really, do, and I decided that, you know, maybe I'll have like a green tea or maybe I'll have a chai because I really lo like love chai. Who doesn't love chai? But I'm going to try to really only have caffeine like actually when I drink this. Or I got this other thing called Verb Energy Bars and those are pretty, those are pretty cool too. And they have like caffeine in them. Anyway, I basically decided I'm only really going to be having caffeine when I'm working out and I'm going to try to not have caffeine any other time. Like right when i'm waking up no maybe like after i've been awake for a long time bless you to my neighbor a eh? but maybe when i wake up maybe like after i wake up i'll have something but not right when i wake up and i'm also going to work more on hydrating as much as i possibly can before dinner because i think if i hadn't drinking enough water like during the day I was trying to make up for it. Like I have been, literally, I've been doing this for so long. I was trying to make up for it after dinner and before bed. And to be real with you, it's just totally messing up my sleep. So I can't do that anymore. I need to literally hydrate, hydrate, hydrate before dinner. And when I say before dinner, I mean like even like before I eat dinner because I don't want my belly to be so full of water and then put food all up in it too because then that's going to be weird for my digestion so those are the things i'm doing but yeah just so you know garden of life organic plant-based energy and i'll have all the links of stuff i mentioned down below <music>
Well, yes, I did just stop my workout so I could vacuum because I have to vacuum by a certain time where it's rude for the neighbors, you know? But what I was thinking of that I forgot to mention is I've been having such a hard time uploading videos. And that's why I just wanted to mention that that's why it's amazing that I'm getting a new computer because literally, I honestly need faster internet too. Like I really been using like the oldest computer with like the slowest internet to try to do everything and it's really really hard and like for instance i just made this video i'm so excited about it like it's pretty good you guys should watch it it's my water video <clears throat> or my first water video and well i guess kind of my second but anyway it's taken me like two days to just figure out how to save the video, like just save the video and then try to upload it. Like it's literally been two days. I don't want to say three, but yeah, solid two because the first time I saved it, I thought it was saved and like it was. And then I waited like a day and a half for it to upload onto YouTube. And then when it got to literally like 10 more minutes to go, you know, and then I checked like 15 minutes later, it was like, sorry, we couldn't process it. So it's just like, wow, really? So then I was trying to save it as an MP4 file instead of like an MOV file and it wouldn't save. And I finally just had to like delete some things, I think, because that computer has just something wrong with it. And it's constantly saving like old versions of like the older POS, POS, the older iOS system. Well, laugh out loud can you tell i've been like a server bartender for so many years that i just called it a pos system which means point of sale if no one knows what that means if you don't know what that means like good for you tip your servers well but i'm happy that you don't know what a pos system is good for you because i'm sure well anyway so yeah, and I'm in the other room now, like the file finally saved and I'm finally uploading it. And it's really hard too, because once you do all the details for your video, like you do the thumbnail and you do the tags and you do the details like in the info box and you do like your links or whatever, it's like, there's no way to back that up. So if your video doesn't process, it's like a waste of time. So technically I should have made sure that it even processed and was online to begin with and just saved it as a private video until I could finish that stuff. But I mean, I was being very optimistic and hopeful. Like I thought it was gonna work. Anyway, you guys might think that's boring. So sorry, but I just had to say that because like, that's what I've been doing. Like, that's why, you know, I'm not baking a chocolate cake right now because I'm trying to like do digital file stuff that takes a very long time so that's why i'm hoping to it's just totally gonna change my life to have a new computer like wow and then i also just i'm gonna like honestly pray and hope that i can get a gopro because that would be so awesome if i could take you guys in the water and that's what i really want to do and it's so hard getting content of you like in the water so i just think that that would be so cool like imagine if i could take you guys like bo boogie boarding or surfing with me like i'm not even saying that i'm good but just like imagine if i could take you in the water like that would be it so that's what i'm gonna work for or like work towards next okay well i'm actually gonna probably stop vlogging because i feel like i'm a boring person right now but i'm just gonna do like a little more workout maybe and i'm gonna do uh like a little bit of yin practice to make sure I stretch and stuff. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess. I'm gonna go to the beach. I need some sun. Like hiking, you kind of get a little bit of sun, depending on what you're doing. But like, I need ocean. We're doing it up tomorrow, man. We're going to get salty and sandy. Anyway, shoots done, shoots done, shoots done. Can you tell I'm right-handed? Don't tell anyone that's a secret, but I'm right-handed. See, you can literally tell. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, so basically I just wanna pipe right in and say, hey, what's up? I hope you are enjoying this vlog. I think I'm gonna end it here, but I just wanted to say really quick that this eyeliner, I just made the Kinder Beauty video that like hopefully was the last video that went up and then you're gonna see this or you might see like holiday vlogs. Anyway, the point is this eyeliner is so good like oh my gosh like i was doing a little bit of this like i was literally trying to rub this off and it like wasn't even hardly rubbing off like i'm literally actually pushing that's been on my hand like since i made the video which was like two hours ago or something like that like dang that is so good and i used to be sort of not really about like waterproof stuff but um i think i've changed my mind about that I think as long as you have a good remover I think that's a great idea anyways so I just really wanted to say that because in the video you know I read that it was waterproof and I was like stoked about it but and I was like oh I can tell this is good the felt tip everything but I'm telling you like as soon as the video ended and I looked down at my hand and I was like wow this is like really actually good anyway so shout out to the eyeliner in that video also you guys a couple of days ago I went to the Eddie, the official Eddie iCow invitational only surfing contest at Waimea Bay that they haven't done for seven years. And let me tell you, first of all, everybody had to be very safe. It's not the kind of thing that you just stroll into and you're not prepared for or you don't know what's going on because you need to be very safe in situations when there are very, very big waves. They only have that contest when the waves are 20 feet or over, which Hawaiian style is like 40 foot plus waves, okay? They were bombs, you guys. It was so inspirational to see the hammers that were going to surf in that swell like it was honestly one of the most epic days ever i woke up at 2 a.m to go it was like an 18 hour affair by the end of the day i was so exhausted i tried to pack light and also i tried to take really cool footage um but at the same time like i was soaked and i honestly just like really didn't want to mess up my phone I'm surprised my phone is still working so well. I was soaked up to my eyebrows, like straight up. Um, I was on the left side, then I was on the right side, and I was like in the front, but it was really the kind of thing where you needed everything on you to be securely attached to you, you know, so you didn't lose anything, obviously. Obviously, just saying. And also where you had to like really have your wits about you because waves were coming up, the crowd was getting wet, you know? And in some cases, if you're not being careful, that can be very dangerous. Um, anyways, so basically the rest of this vlog is gonna be my clips from the Eddy, which are, are like a little bit all over the place, but I basically was doing the thing where you're like enjoying the event that you're at, but you're also like, I was trying to vlog it, but I didn't, it's not like an Eddy vlog. It's just like my Eddy footage. So Luke Shepardson is the hammer that won the contest. And he is a North Shore lifeguard who, as far as I know, has been up there his entire life. And it is just so fitting that he won the contest and I mean, the footage is absolutely amazing. Not necessarily mine. Mine's okay. You had to be there. Jenna let me borrow her binox and it was like the most amazing thing. I was like this all day. I wore a hat. I was basically covered. I didn't get a sunburn, but oh my gosh, like I felt like an athlete just going and like standing in the sand and like team no sleep. Like the whole time I was like, just be happy. I'm not the one surfing because I just can't even imagine and it was just so inspirational and it was the first year ever that women were invited to surf the eddy like I'm just telling you it was one of the most epic days of my life and like the coolest thing that like I've ever gone to it was so amazing to see 
if you want to look it up like there's a whole bunch of really awesome youtube videos about it there's like some amazing aerial footage of like what the waves even looked like crashing into Waimea Bay. Like I'm literally getting chills talking about it. It was so amazing. Billy Kemper got hurt, I think like the week before and he still surfed like what? And there was like, there was like the older generation there, which I love all of them. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. It was just like the coolest thing ever. They're all so good. It was just so awesome, you guys. It was so awesome. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to like pop in and just randomly mention the eyeliner and then say that this is gonna be my clips from the Eddie to like finish off this vlog. And it was just literally the coolest thing ever. Like I just love being a part of this Hawaiian culture like so much. I have so much respect for those people that are surfing big waves. I have so much respect for these islands and the ocean and just so surf culture in general is just like my actual, I can't even talk so I'm so excited about it. <laughs> you guys, it was magical. Like really, it was a momentous moment in time and I'm just so happy that I got to experience that and it was just like the most wonderful day ever so i hope you really enjoyed the footage and i hope you really enjoyed this vlog um i'm attempting to make my vlogs as cohesive as possible if they're not that's life sometimes you know and i hope you're enjoying all this content if you'd like to experience more of some of the cool stuff that i get to do or the stuff i want to create for you guys or just like share anything with me that'd be awesome if you like the video please remember to like the video smash the like button comment down below because i want to hear from you and out for the uh do let's get straight into my eddie footage and also if you don't know who eddie eichau is he is a legendary hawaiian his prime time was like in the 70s he was a lifeguard on north shore he was the first lifeguard on the north shore and the waves up there in case you don't know are very big and can get very dangerous especially in the winter season and he also ended up being invited to sail on the hokulea which is an amazing hawaiian voyager ship where they're really practicing ancient Hawaiian standards for sailing and all those older practices where you're using the stars to navigate. And he was just a man that really represented his culture and the strength of Hawaiians very well. There's also a saying, Eddie would go. And a lot of people like to say that saying, meaning to be brave and surf big swells, but actually the meaning Eddie would go means that he would go in a dangerous situation which he did and that's how he ended up passing away is because the hokulea sank or like that ship that he was on sank and he went out to actually go try to save his crew members so rest in peace eddie aikau and that contest is held in remembrance of eddie and I just want to thank so much the family that puts it on every year that the waves are big enough because it is a lot of work. So I also just want to thank everyone that was involved. I know what hard work that is, or I really can't even imagine. I think there was like, I'm not sure if the account was 60,000 people, but it might have even been like 100,000. I don't know if someone was exaggerating, but it was like tens of thousands of people, like droves of people. So just to even try to put an event like that on is incredible, let alone, you know, when the waves are that big and the surfers were incredible. The guys on the jet skis, like it was just awesome. Like truly, truly the definition of the word awesome. And it was just such a wonderful experience.
so much on it. It's slow. Wow. Oh, you just mean that's what it looks like. It's okay. I do it too. 